I create because I love making powerful images. I create because I'm passionate. I create because I love visual storytelling. I create because I can bring my thoughts to life. I create, I create because, because I love I just love motion. what I do. Today we're going to look at three parts of intellectual property in particular. My name is Marissa Longsworth. I'm the manager of the Copyright and Related Rights Directorate at the Jamaica Intellectual Property Office. I'm also an attorney at law. We're going to look at copyright and related rights. We're going to look at trademarks. And then I added over to the side image rights because it's all very important in the field that you're in. I've been looking into how to copyright and trademark and stuff and with the presentation this morning I have a lot more information so I can bring that to my partner and let him know that okay this is the steps that we need to get done. Intellectual means property of the mind property of your intellect, whatever comes out of your head as creative expression belongs to you as the owner and the creator of that creative expression. Yeah, these things are what we need to teach them, how to be self-employed, how to be entrepreneurs in the, in, the, in, the, in the media space. We have so many uh, things, processes to go through just to create videos, so it seems a bit tedious and it can be a bit scary, but I guess as long as we, we follow the correct procedures, you'll be just fine. Think about being able to go to the bank with your catalog of music or videos, have a value on it and borrow money, and then on top of that, have a longer period of time to, to collect from it and to pay back what you will owe you know, to banks. I think, I think we're heading in the right direction, but we need a full ecosystem because one of our issues here is enforcement. You can only experience true Jamaican creativity and culture in a Jamaican video. I've seen videos that have been done by foreigners in Jamaica, but it's too, too superficial. There's a lot going on in the creative industries, particularly at the government level, which should be very uh, encouraging for creatives because the creative industries is now a priority industry for the government of Jamaica. There is a National Cultural and Creative Industries Commission based in the office of the Prime Minister, which has the mandate. I sit on one of the working groups there, and the mandate really is to create a strategy and policy for the creative and cultural industries for within the next two years. It's a tight timeline. Jamaica is number three in creating a music genre that impacts the world. What does that tell you? So when, when, when you talk about intellectual property, Jamaica should be at the forefront of this. We cannot allow ourselves to be behind because if not, we are, we are going to be creative, but somebody else own our intellectual property. Intellectual property rights are private rights. You are the person that has the, the, um, the authority to use them or not use them. So what this is all about is really supposed to indicate to you that your creativity is worth something. In week five, we're supposed to start filming the music video. I'm hoping that it goes a lot better than the other experiences that I've had with music, um, music videos. I hope to draw on my fellow colleagues um, imagination and the interpretation of the song that we have um, for me, which is called Raising the Bar. Definitely 
uh, I'll, be in, I'll be in my element. Um, a lot more camera, hands-on work, lighting, getting people moving around. Um, my team and I, we're some of my classmates. In a music video, I think you look for you look for quality. That has to be the number one. You can tell when a music, when a video in general is done without a certain level of quality and experience on the part of the person behind the camera. And I think it shows when you see the work that they put out. Um, and it, it does tie right back into intellectual property because we talk about creativity, creative expression. So the, the videographer is the creator in copyright and therefore whatever they put out must hold a certain standard to be able to reach the right audience. I think it's that simple. I'm a silent filmmaker, I love Charlie Chaplin. With my work, I try to use actions um, instead of words. I believe that we have made progress with, um, with these young people. They're very, 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 very enthused about this project. Um, I, I was very encouraged by some of the ideas that they were um, bringing forward in making a video for the, the final project. Jamaicans are not known for be staying banned anybody in anything. The Jamaicans always want to be in front. And so it is it is important that we we prepare our young people to be front runners.